Greetings, Chairman of the Acceptance Committee. The main crew is reporting for the testing. As you might have heard yesterday, there were some hiccups in the rig. Ladies and gentlemen, are there any questions for the crew? Uh, for NASA TV, for Terry Birds, how has your training been for, compared to flying the space shuttle as you've done previously to your training in the Soyuz, and what are you looking forward to the most? One of the things as a test pilot, um, it's always fun to fly different airplanes, and in this case I get to fly a different spacecraft. Um, one of the things that sticks out as a difference between the Soyuz and the space shuttle is how the rendezvous and docking happen. The, uh, the Soyuz docks much faster, so the orbital effects of gravity, aren't you don't notice it as much, so that's just one of the many differences that I've noticed between the shuttle and the Soyuz. A uh, question for you, what experiments are new and what experiments will be continued from previous increments? Uh, there will be new experiments, indeed, they are medical and biological in nature. They will be performed, uh, five to seven of them will be new and about 50 will be continued from what will be done before. Uh, and we will be using equipment that is already on station and equipment that we have brought with us. There is a long list of them. It will take a long time to talk about them all. What language will be used on station? On the Soyuz vehicle, the accepted language is Russian. On the station, we use English, but realistically, we speak in a English-Russian combination. Uh, we can start a sentence with something in Russian, then end in English, especially if it has to do with technical things. We have no misunderstandings. We might have some problems with Italian, but Samantha is very good in Russian and in English and, well, in Italian also. Have you learned to trust each other? To trust each other, yes. Two years of living together and working together have taught us to trust each other, so we trust each other fully. We have no doubt in one another. For Samantha Christopher Reddy for both NASA and ESA, how are you feeling about your flight and the Soyuz as an experienced pilot yourself, and what are you looking forward to the most, and if you could answer in both English and Italian, please? Uh, for me, it's just amazing to be here for now at the end of a very long training flow. I mean, I, I came to Star City to start studying the Soyuz in June 2011 for the first time. It's been over three and a half years, and to be here on the last day of training, where on the day where we can actually show everything that we've learned and that we are ready to go and fly, it's just an amazing feeling. And then, of course, I just look forward to sitting in the real thing in just three weeks' time and actually blast off to space. È incredibile pensare di essere all'ultimo giorno di, di preparazione di addestramento. Sono venuta per la prima volta qui alla Città delle Stelle nel giugno 2011 per iniziare a studiare la Soyuz, quindi sono passati quasi tre anni e mezzo. E oggi è l'ultimo giorno, il giorno in cui come equipaggio dimostriamo, dimostreremo, sono sicura di essere pronti a partire e quindi davvero una, una giornata di, di, di grande emozione, di concentrazione, di lavoro, ma anche di grande emozione e poi naturalmente non vedo l'ora di, di sedermi nella, nella vera Soyuz in cima ad un razzo e partire per lo spazio in soltanto tre settimane. Thank you.